Hello, this is Richard, Solution Architect from Alibaba Cloud Intelligence. Today, I will show you how to audit cloud products in Log Service. Log Audit Service is an application in Alibaba Cloud Log Service. It can centralize to collect logs from different accounts, cloud products, or even different regions all over the world in Alibaba Cloud automatically. This log audit service can work with the resource directory so that log audit service can collect logs automatically when a new resource instance was created. The log audit service comply with cybersecurity laws from different countries or regions, like GDPR in Europe, second protection of information in China. Log audit service can also be integrated with your self-managed security operation centers like Splunk. It allows you to ship ordered logs into Splunk or collect all Splunk data into log service. First, enter the log audit service page through log service console. First, you need to link a service to this row so that your cloud resources can be visited by log service. It will be automatically created if you don't have one. Next, we will choose a region as your central project. For example, we choose Hong Kong. Then, we enable the audit for a cloud product. We can control the granularity by customized policy. For example, we use the default policy accept star for RDS audit log. We will enable the log collection of some products. Click the Save button. Wait one or two minutes to change the configuration. Then we can check the status in Log Audit Service status page. We can find the collection of RDS Audit Log, RDS Slow Log, and SLB Access Log have been enabled. And the log target is center. Log retention time is 180 days. Now we can see the RDS Audit Logs in Log Audit Service. We can filter logs by changing the time range. In the RDS Circle Console, we enter the Circle Query command Show Databases and click the Executive button. Click the Search and Analyze button to refresh the data. Then search keywords Show Databases. The Circle statement we just executed has been found. We can determine the log type by inspecting the topic field. Next, we will generate a RDS slow log by executing a select sleep query. We can filter and inspect the logs just generated by the sleep circle in all RDS logs. At that time, you can check the topic field and find that they have not only the audit log, but also slow log in RDS logs. Next, let's look at another cloud product log collected through log audit, SLB access log. In the SLB instance page, we have a CLB instance configured with an HTTP access port. At this time, we access the public IP address of the instance through CUIL command. Refresh the SLB log page to see that an SLB access log had been generated. We can check the specific access instance object, access port, and access IP. The audit service support multi-account log collection. In resource directory mode, you can select all members or customize the accounts needs to audit. Click the confirm button to see that four resource directory organization members have been added under the center account. In overall dashboard, click the button to refresh the page. Then you can find that there are five active accounts now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.